Okay, and you've had a few days training with the boys now. How's it gone? Yeah, it's been brilliant. It's been um, a great bunch of lads. Absolutely different class, and the training has been it's been good. It's been tough, but not not to the point where you're crawling off the pitch. I mean, the goalie coach has been fantastic, and um, yeah, it's been been a, been a great start. <laughs> and what have you made of the goalkeepers' union? Yeah, brilliant. Same as everywhere. It's different class. I mean, there's been me, Marcus, Jesse, and Young Marek training, and all seem really good guys. You know, all pretty young, but they've all seem you know experience, like experienced keepers, and same everywhere. Good guys to get on with. Marcus Bettinelli had a great season for us last yeah, year. Yeah. You expected a good battle for the number one jersey. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean. He's probably in possession of Jersey because from what I saw him last season he was outstanding. We, when we played at Craven Cottage it was one of his first games and I was impressed with with the things he had to do with them. He'd done really well and really composed and um, you know, just these last few days it's just sort of reiterated what I thought of him. He's a top keeper and he's a good guy as well, so um hopefully I can put pressure on him because everyone wants to play but you know he's probably in possession at the minute but I'm here to, to try and get it for myself. You played a lot of football last season until you suffered an injury in February. Yeah. Was that a frustrating time for you? It was, yeah, because there was a lot of... It wasn't so much an injury, it's like I got knocked out, it was a bit of concussion. The, the regulations with that is, you know, it's, it's pretty, they're pretty strict on it at the moment. So, um, yeah, that's sort of... I didn't get back in the team after that. I probably had two or three weeks where I wasn't feeling great anyway. So I wouldn't have played, but um, it's frustrating. But all in all, I think I had a, had a good season and, you know, played, played the majority of the season. So, yeah. When did you hear about Fulham's interest in your services? Um, sort of pretty much mid-June when I signed. I, it, it got sorted out so quickly. I mean, um, I spoke to a few clubs and I turned a few offers down and then I started to think maybe, you know, I was, I was holding up something better, obviously. And, um, and I, t I actually turned down a club and in the same conversation, my agent said, do you want to go to Fulham? Said, yeah, 12 hours later, he rang me back and it sorted. So it was um, it was a nice little phone call to have on holiday. What made you want to come here? Yeah, it's, I can't. It's just one of the things. I just I've always thought, you know, I'd love to come down here. It's it's a great club and it's just a fantastic opportunity. And it was always one of the places I always sort of thought, yeah, I won't I won't mind having a go at that. So this was always, you know, in the back I knew they were looking for a goalkeeper. So in the back of my mind, it was always something that might happen. And when it did, I was delighted. You played with Ross McCormack at Leeds United. Did you speak to him before signing? Or yeah, yeah, I spoke to Ross. Um, I spoke to Ross a few times in the in the build up to. Obviously, I said it happened quickly, but there was a few little conversations beforehand, and um, Ross just said, "Get yourself down here. It's magnificent," and that was it. And what do you think we can achieve this season? I don't know. Who knows? The, the quality you've got. There's a lot of young lads in the team, but. You know, we get a bit of blend of experience. The likes of Tom Kearney, he's only young, but he's played a lot of football. Ben Pringle, add Scott Parker to that, and myself, and hopefully we can really push on because some of the young lads are exceptional.